Hello everyone, so I just made this thing in crochet and I wanted to share a video because a photo really doesn't make justice to what it is and I wanted to show you how cool and interesting this is. It doesn't seem so right now, but I will show you really soon. So I came across uh, with the work of Dinah Taimina, she's a mathematician, um, that started creating something called a hyperbolic crochet because she wanted to emulate um, or wanted to visualize how hyperbolic spaces look. And she came up with, with this idea of doing it in crochet and I find it fascinating. So basically, what this thing can do or what it is, it is, it is actually kind of a plane. I'm gonna unfold it like this. So it actually is, is just one piece. It's all wrapped around itself like that. Started with a circle or with a, with a chain of five stitches. And then each subsequent line on top of those five stitches duplicates the line before. So you, you end up making double uh, crochets or two stitches in every stitch. So what started as five, then becomes 10, then becomes 20, then becomes 40, and I, can't, I don't even know how many stitches I have in my last row right here. So what happens when you have a space like that is that, of course, the stitches are gonna be, um, they, they don't have the space to exist like this, like they would in a, in a plane. Um, but then they start folding falling on themselves and you get you get these really cool shapes these really interesting shapes in in the fabric and this is this is what we see sometimes in coral reefs and in another biologic structures this happens a lot in nature but it's really difficult to visualize it um, and to manipulate it uh, to see exactly what a hyperbolic space is. So I thought it was pretty cool. That's why I wanted to show you. And this is how it looks when it's spread out, but then it can actually be twisted and put back into a shape like the one that I had at the beginning. And it will look more like this. So... There you go, a hyperbolic space made in crochet. 